Like a graduated pipette, a burette is used to add a precise volume of liquid to a receiving container. Volumes are read to the hundredths place. The markings are similar to those on a graduated pipette, with zero at the top and increasing numbers down the length. Like a graduated pipette, the volume dispensed by a burette is calculated by difference. The final volume minus the initial volume equals the volume dispensed. A piece of rubber tubing may protect the tip, but should be removed before use. To add liquid safely, move the burette to the end of the bench and lower it to eye level. Use a funnel to carefully add a portion of the liquid. Then drain some of the liquid to fill the burette tip to ensure no air bubbles are present. Add the volume of liquid you will need for the experiment. It is not necessary to fill the burette all the way. Take the time now to record your initial volume to the hundredths place. Move the burette back into position for the experiment. The flow of liquid out of a burette is controlled with a stopcock. Turning the stopcock fully perpendicular to the burette stops the flow of liquid. Fully parallel allows maximum flow. By carefully adjusting the stopcock, you can dispense liquid at full speed, more slowly, or even dropwise. It's okay to begin quickly, then slow down the flow once you near the desired volume. For some experiments, you may need to add single drops or even half drops to dispense the exact volume needed. To dispense a half drop, barely open the stopcock to allow a drop to form on the tip of the burette. Then rinse the drop into the flask with distilled water. Record the final volume to the hundredths place and calculate the volume dispensed by difference.